Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel. In Windows 8 we had a metered connection, a way of knowing how much data we have been using on our connection and uh, preset limits. In Windows 8.1 a lot of people um, started telling me, hey, that metered connection is now gone and you can't really uh, check it out. Well, it's not gone. It changed from uh, where it was and it's now integrated with the connections that you're using. So if you want to have a metered connection, if you want to check how much data you're using, then you will uh, actually have to go to your connection where you are right now. So go into the charms bar on the search and start by uh, clicking on settings instead of everywhere and start putting metered connection and by going to metered connection you will have change Wi-Fi settings click on that and there you'll have your Wi-Fi your air and Ethernet your VPN or if you have any other types of question of a connection for example LTE if you have a tablet you might have LTE or 3G there added to this list when you click on the one that you're connected for example I'm on my Wi-Fi here if you click on that you'll see that you'll have data usage and it's gonna give you a little slider that you could put on show my estimated data use and network list you can put that on and set as, a, set as a metered connection you can put that on what that means is now that you'll have that information uh, put on you will know how much data you use when you check your uh, Wi-Fi connection or any type of connection so whatever connection this is on my Wi-Fi but you'll have that slider available on all types of connection that you will be using if you use uh, Ethernet and it's plugged in you'll have that slider if you have 3G or LTE you click on that you'll have the slider that gives you the possibility to turn on the uh, estimated data use and uh, of course you can turn on set as a metered connection so you'll be informed and you'll know how much data you're using every time you are actually um, connected to the web and it's very important because a lot of you out there have very limited internet access and they need to know how much connection, uh, how much data their connection is using every week and every month. And so um, if you're on a uh, 3G or LTE, it's even worse. You'll have to check often because you want to know how much data you've been using. Uh, just, like, just like using your cell phone. A lot of people on their cell phones will check how much data they're using every month. Uh, a lot of countries don't have unlimited bandwidth. Uh, they have really, really um, limited bandwidth and you have to check for that. So um, this is where you go. So just go into your charms bar. In the search, you just go into settings and then you type metered. And there you'll see change Wi-Fi settings. Click there um, and the Wi-Fi settings will bring you to all the connection types anyway so if you have LTE or 3G it's going to be there in that panel uh, you'll have Wi-Fi, Ethernet, VPN possibly and uh, you'll have 3G or LTE that might show up if you have a tablet for example or if you have some kind of other type of connection if you enjoy our videos please uh, subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online and um, you can also give us thumbs up if you enjoyed or if it helped you use your computer in a better way. Um, maybe you have a feature of Windows 8, Windows 8 you'd like us to actually um, show in a video or an app that you'd like us to review from a Microsoft Store. Um, whatever. Maybe you have a problem. Uh, let us know. We'll try to help you if we can. And we'll try to make those videos if you want to have a video for... Um, feature of Windows 8 and especially Windows 8.1 now. If you haven't upgraded yet, um, don't forget Windows 8.1 is available as a free download in the Microsoft Store. 
And uh, hopefully you enjoy our channel. Maybe you have that new Windows 8 tablet, uh, computer, desktop, you're lost. Well, click on our channel and you'll have lots of videos showing you how to use Windows 8 to the max. Thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8. Bye-bye.